What's going on YouTube? If you're playing as Confessor in Elden Ring, you're likely to be building around the face stat. If you're not, then hey, you do you. In this video though, I'll show you in my opinion what is one of the best early to mid tier weapons for your Faith Confessor builds. But before we get into everything, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this great content. The Wing Scythe is a Reaper class weapon that deals holy damage that scales with Faith, Strength, and Dexterity. It also causes blood loss buildup, which is just an added bonus. And most importantly of all, it looks super badass, which we all know fashion trumps stats. The biggest hang up though, is that it does require 24 faith and 16 strength and dexterity to be able to wield this beast. But after an hour of farming runes, you'll be able to use this no problem. Let's take a look at where to find the scythe. It's directly south of where you spawn into the game, just across the pond and the tomb's ward runes. You'll have to deal with some rats at the top of the runes and two crossbow boys down below, but you can make pretty quick work at them no problem. Open up the door and the chest and you'll have your wing scythe. One thing to note, you may want to invest a few points into endurance so you can get your equip load up so you aren't fat rolling around. Unless of course you want to shed some weight in your armor or shield. Let's go test this baby out. So right out the gate you can probably tell that it's got a bit slower of an attack compared to the starter sword, but it does deal a bit more damage overall, and most importantly though, it does apply the blood loss buildup. It'll excel even further once you get a few somber smithing stones into it. The two-handed weapon skill is Angel's Wings and it's also pretty badass and does great damage and only costs 17 FB to use. The only kind of shitty thing about it is that you cannot infuse any Ashes of War with the Scythe. You may also want to pay attention to any enemies or bosses that may have Holy Resistance because you'll certainly do a lot less damage and likely need to switch to a different weapon. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please drop them in the comment section below. See you next time, YouTube.